This is The Science Show on URN. Hi, I'm Davs. And I'm George. And we're back in the Student Science Lab. And this week we are making a vortex cannon. George, did you remember to put your recycling out this week? No, I didn't. This is really annoying. I mean, I had a house party and I forgot in the boxes, all the polystyrene cups. I mean, what am I going to do? Well, I think we're probably going to make a vortex cannon. True. Yes. Excellent. Right. What do we need? Well, first, we need a box. Excellent. And secondly, we have to put a hole in the box. Okay, and the third step is to put smoke in the box. You can get it from all good forest fires, but I get mine from Sainsbury's. Thank you, Dabs. No problem. And now we're going to see how far we can hit things from. Oh, that was fantastic. So now we know it works, we're going to test the range of this. So we've got some cups set up over there, and we are some distance away. See how it goes. Oh, that wasn't powerful enough. It's like a ghost. Cup of skin. Yeah. Oh, missed. Should we just fill the whole room with smoke? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> slightly further away, we'll see if we can still hit the cups. <laughs> <laughs> it's like poltergeist, isn't it? So we've moved the cups slightly further away, we'll see if we can hit them. Far away. Let's see if we can still hit it. Drum roll, please, Dabs. Yes! What a shot. So, Dabs, how far are we away now? We're about 10 metres away, I think. Okay, this is quite ambitious, but we're going to go for it. No, no. It's completely missed, doesn't it? More power. Oh. one. <laughs> so, what did we do there, George? We well, made a box. Yeah, we made a box, and basically by hitting on the sides, it compresses the air inside the box, and the only way it can escape is by going through the hole in the front. Now, because it's a nice round shape, and it's narrower than the width of the box, it forces it into a vortex ring. Yeah. Have fun making one at home, guys. This is Student Science, signing off.